Uh, yes, I, uh, I was sent a couple of the tweets, so yeah, I did read them. I haven't uh, responded. I think, well, the ones I read were not accurate. One of the things that I've learned is that this is a conversation that obviously needs to be had. There are people, women and, and others, who have not been a part of this conversation. And I, I truly believe, and why I was wearing the pin, is that they need to be a part of this conversation. James Franco truly lives up to the title of his movie, The Disaster Artist, falling from his high role as the James Dean of our time to an actor with questionable morals. Things haven't been looking up for Franco. From inappropriate advances towards a 17-year-old girl to abusing his power among his female students, James Franco has been under fire. Who could have guessed that their gorgeous celebrity crush was actually an abuser in disguise? Should have listened to the celebrities who warned us about James Franco's behavior. What? That's right. If viewers had paid attention, they would have seen various celebrities highlighting their experiences with James Franco and exposing him for his crude behavior and personality. Like I said, you know, um, there are stories that need to get out. There are um, people that need to be heard. Um, I have my own side of, of this story, but um, I believe in, you know, these people that have been underrepresented getting their stories out enough that I will, you know, hold back um, things that I could say just because I believe in it that much. James Franco is notorious for his roles in Geeks and Freaks, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Eat, Pray, Love, Spider-Man films, The Disaster Artist, 127 Hours, Milk, and Spring Breakers. Apart from being an actor, he wrote short stories, conducting acting classes, and hosted theater. A truly multi-talented celebrity who collaborated with the likes of Seth Rogen and Tobey Maguire. Yet, do you know that James Franco's longtime friend and collaborator, Seth Rogen, has called it quits and dumped his sausage part bro? Well, Seth Rogen was called out by fellow co-actor Charlene Yi and her gram posts are full of accusations and harsh words against the interview duo. Charlene Yee stated that she's disgusted by Franco's behavior. She had to leave her role in his film, The Disaster Artist. She listed Franco as a predator and his BFF, Seth Rogen, as an enabler. She wrote, When I tried to break legal contract and quit Disaster Artist because James Franco is a sexual predator, producers, including Rogen, tried to bribe me with a bigger acting role. I cried and told them that that was the exact opposite of what I wanted, that I didn't feel safe working with a predator. The Netflix star continued further that when Franco was caught seeking time and attention from a 17-year-old fan, the DMs were made public and Franco had to apologize and claim to be nothing but a gentleman. What I've learned, I guess just because I'm new to it, it's like you don't know who's on the other end. You meet somebody in person and you, you, know, you, you get a feel for them, but you don't know who you're talking to. And, right. You know, so I use bad judgment and it, I learned my lesson. But unfortunately in my position, I mean, I have a very good life, but... Not only do I have to go through the embarrassing kind of rituals of meeting someone, sometimes if I do that, then it gets, you know, published for the world. So now, I, you know, it's like doubly embarrassing, but. The whole incident was turned into a joke during Saturday Night Live when Seth Rogen joked about pretending to be a 17-year-old girl and got Franco to meet her at a hotel. Quoting this incident, Charlene Yi further warns the fans about Franco's behavior and called Rogen an enabler. There is no way your friends wouldn't know about your behavior. Because of women filing lawsuits against James Franco in October of 2019, and due to Charlene's accusations, this hypocrisy, mm -hmm. I wanted the world to know um, the truth. Looking back, do you feel like you, you couldn't say no? Um, no, I could have said no, but because of the power dynamic, the situation was so surreal, and I wanted him to like me. He's definitely got two personalities. Um, and that doesn't mean he doesn't have a great sweet side, but when he has his other side, it's the complete polar opposite. The impression he gave me of the industry deterred me from pursuing a dream I thought I always wanted. I don't even know what I'm allowed to say. That's the scary thing is like, I'm terrified for my career. A lot of nudity and scenes that felt that they weren't, that I felt were not artistically justified and were added in after the fact. I, I don't care about any of that. I'm just more, disgusted by the way he's lying. Seth Rogen dumped his best friend and claimed that he isn't a supporter of inappropriate crude violence. The comedian and producer told the Sunday Times that it isn't a surprise nor a coincidence that he and Franco are no longer collaborating after the allegations. 
he confessed that he highly regrets his unfair and terrible joke on the show SNL, further stating that the allegations had changed so many things in their relationship and dynamic. What I can say is that I despise abuse and harassment and I would never cover or conceal the actions of someone doing it or knowingly put someone in a situation where they were around someone like that. Apart from Seth Rogen, another celebrity came forward and heated Franco for his awful temper. Through her experience in Freaks and Geeks, she warned those who might potentially work with him. Who's this? Busy Phillips. She published a memoir in 2018 where she calls out James Franco for being a bully and assaulting her on the set. She wrote that in the script, it was instructed that Phillips had to tap Franco in the chest gently. He, Franco, broke character and grabbed both of my arms and screamed in my face, don't ever touch me again. Then he threw me to the ground, flat on my back, wind knocked out of me. Although James Franco apologized involuntarily the next day, Phillips' claims are further backed by Franco's ex-students in his acting schools, who stated that Franco had a short temper and would storm off if one decided not to perform a certain vulgar scene. Another James Franco's co-star who is also famous for her role in The Breakfast Club, Ali Sheedy, dragged Franco. Upon receiving a Golden Globe for The Disaster Artist in 2018, Franco's career was at its high. However, Ali Sheedy, who worked with Franco in The Long Shrift, had other thoughts. She tweeted, James Franco just won. Please never ask me why I left the film slash TV business. This didn't end here. She further added, Okay, wait, bye. Christian Slater and James Franco at a table on at Golden Globes? Hashtag me too. Netizens went wild. They thought out loud whether or not Ali Sheedy was implicating misconduct suffered in the hands of James Franco. The fire was further fueled by two other actresses, Sarah Tither Kaplan and Violet Paley. An ex-student and co-star of James Franco, she took to Twitter to vent out her thoughts on the Golden Globe win. Hey James Franco, nice hashtag times up pin at the hashtag Golden Globes. Remember a few weeks ago when you told me the full explicit you had me do in two of your movies for $100 a day wasn't exploitative because I signed a contract to do it? Time's up on that. Violet Paley, who briefly dated James Franco, didn't stop either and wrote, Cute hashtag times up pin, James Franco. Remember that time you pushed my head down in a car and made her do inappropriate actions, as well as the other time when, the other time you told my friend to come to your hotel when she was 17, after you had already been caught doing that to a different 17-year-old? James Franco dug his own grave. Not only was he called out by fellow co-stars, his posters were removed from the next digital Hollywood issue. Way to experience a swift decline from stardom to bye-bye baby. What are your thoughts? Do you think James Franco deserves to lose friends and collaborators over his misconduct? Let us know in the comments below. We love to hear from you. Till next time.